Good morning, first grade. Today is Wednesday, October 28, 2020. If today is Wednesday, that means yesterday was... Landon, what was yesterday? Tuesday! Tuesday, nice job. Yesterday was Tuesday. If today is Wednesday, that means tomorrow will be... Please raise your hand. Cadence, what will tomorrow be? Thursday. Thursday, nice job. Do you guys have school tomorrow? No. No, no school no. tomorrow? No. no. And no school Friday either. Good job. All right, we're going to sing Days of the Week, and then we will write today's date, okay? Days of the Week. 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 This Sunday and this Monday, this Tuesday and this Wednesday, this Thursday and this Friday, and then this Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job. Okay, what day is it? We need to start with the month. You can tell me the number that we use for the month of October. Anderson. Sophia, can you help Anderson, please? What day? Do, what number do we write for the month of October? <laughs> can you hear me, Sophia? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what number we write for the month of October? Ten. Ten. Nice job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is October. Ten dash twenty. I mean twenty-eight. Good job. Dash twenty. Good job. 20. 10-28-20. Okay, months of the year song. Get your snap or get your body stood up. Because we're gonna sing it two times through and we're gonna turn around. You ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, November. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year, and we all sit down. Good job. Okay, before I go to how many days we've been in school, I have a question of the day. That's what this stands for. Question of the day. So every time that I do calendar, I'm going to put a question of the day up here. And it says, how many more days until Halloween? So I want you to look at today's number. It's in red. And then make some jumps until you get to Halloween. Halloween is on the 31st with the pumpkin. So if you know how many more days. Two months. How many more days until Halloween? Use the raise your hand button. Yeah. Raise your hand button, please. Yeah. 
Look at all these hands. Nice job. Keila, how many more days? Two. So if we start on today and we go one, two, we would land right here. Three. One, two, three. Nice job, Keila. Three more days. So right here I'm going to put three more days. Three more days. Okay. Now we're going to see how many days we've been in school. So, take a look right here at our 10 frames. This is for yesterday, so you need to add one more. Then if you're ready to tell me, you're going to tell me how many days we've been in school. I'm, in, I'm going to put all hands down. Make sure you're muted, please. I'm going to put all hands down, and then I will allow people to start raising their hands. Okay, go ahead and count, and then raise your hand. Okay, Naomi, how many days have we been in school? Forty. Forty, nice job. Here is today's mark. And we have ten, or we have four ten frames all the way filled up. So we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty. These are all filled up. Ten, twenty, thirty. 30, 40. Nice job, Naomi. How would I write it up here? What goes in the tens place? A four. A four. And a zero. Good job. The four stands for four groups of ten. The zero stands for zero little ones. So this next ten frame, we haven't put anything in it, and that's why it's a zero. Good job, Naomi. All right, what's the weather like today? Go ahead and look out your window and meet me back in 30 seconds. 29, Four, three, two, one, zero. Looking for a hand raised. Say then, today's weather is, hmm. Can you read the cards again? Yes. So that was cold. Maybe it's partly cloudy. It's kind of hard to tell right now. It's just now getting light out. Windy. Windy. So we would say today's weather is windy. Can you say that? No, it's not windy. I was just saying windy. Oh, okay. Perfect. Sunny. Hot. Uh, no. It's cloudy. Not sunny. Karen, cloudy, Karen, make sure we share. We take turns. It's cloudy and cold. Ooh, cloudy and cold. Okay, so I'm going to put both of those down. Satan says it's cloudy and cold. So both of those are going to go in here. And we're going to say it's cloudy and cold. Cloudy and cold. Nice job. Thank you for your help. Okay, we are all done with calendar, boys and girls, but um, Senorita Garcia and I have um, a couple of things to share with you 
before we end this meeting, okay? We have art to, to talk about. And then I also want to send a reminder that during your reading block today, so at 9 o'clock, you are sharing your pumpkin reading project. So make sure you have that ready in front of you. See what it looks like. Luego voy a ocupar solamente mi crayón negro. Solamente el negro. Y voy a empezar a dibujar unas hojas. Y quiero que miren primero cómo le voy a hacer yo. ¿Ok? Voy a empezar de este lado. ¿Ok? Voy a hacer primero lo que va en medio de una hoja. Le voy a hacer así. Quiero que tenga un espacio en medio. Después voy a hacer la figura de una hoja. Y todos se van a ver diferentes. Todos se van a ver diferentes. Y está bien. Ese es el arte, de que todos se miren diferente. Y quiero hacer mis hojas un poco grande para usar mucho de mi espacio. Esta es una manera en la que puedo dibujar una hoja. Okay, voy a dibujar la siguiente y la voy a hacer un poco diferente. Quiero que miren. Voy a otra vez dibujar primero lo del medio. Luego voy a hacer líneas para afuera. Y cuando estén llegando para abajo van a estar más cortitas. Las de arriba van a estar más largas. Y luego voy a empezar a conectarlas. Para arriba y para abajo. Y ustedes las pueden hacer diferente. Tengo esta. De este lado voy a hacer otra. Otra vez voy a hacer líneas. Pero en vez de hacer líneas derechas, voy a hacerlo. Y tengo más espacio para hacer más, entonces voy a hacer otra. Creo que voy a hacer otra de este lado. Y voy a hacer una más porque tengo un espacio. Si tú nomás puedes uh, hacer que quepan dos o tres, está bien. Y ahí está el mío. Ok, les vamos a dar un poquito de tiempo para que terminen de dibujarlas.
Cuando todos terminemos o casi terminemos, Miss Prince va a enseñar un video en donde nos va a enseñar cómo vamos a pintar um, las hojas. 